You know that captivating woman who seems to light up every room she enters? The one who commands attention without saying a word? Chances are, she's mastered the art of quiet attractiveness. In today's world, where we're constantly bombarded with noise and chatter, there's something incredibly alluring about a woman who can charm and captivate with her presence alone. The truth is, words are just a small part of the equation when it comes to attractiveness. In fact, studies show that a staggering 93% of communication is nonverbal. So if you're relying solely on what you say, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to showcase your allure. That's why today, we're going to unlock the secrets of how to be quietly attractive and charm without words. By developing these 10 powerful habits, you'll learn to radiate confidence, mystery, and irresistible charisma, all without uttering a single syllable. Trust me, by the end of this video, you'll have the tools to become a captivating force to be reckoned with. Carrying yourself with confident, open body language is absolutely crucial for quiet attractiveness. It silently conveys self-assurance and ease, major draws for most people. This means keeping your posture upright, but relaxed, avoiding any closed off positions like hunching or crossing your arms tightly. Keep your shoulders back, chin up, and take up space instead of making yourself small. Unclench those fists and keep your hands relaxed at your sides. In conversations, turn your body to fully face the person you're speaking with, rather than pointing your feet towards an exit. This shows engagement and interest. Mirroring their body language can also build subliminal rapport. When you move with purposeful strides and fluid motions, rather than timid shuffling or jerky movements, you'll emanate a much more magnetic, grounded presence. As you work on improving your confident body language, be aware of any nervous habits or fidgeting you need to eliminate, like playing with your hair, bouncing your leg, or gripping your arm tightly. These undermine the assured vibe you're going for. Imagine how a powerful CEO or actress on a red carpet might carry themselves. They take up space unapologetically and move with striking intentionality. Channel a bit of that bold energy while still maintaining an approachable warmth. The human eye is naturally drawn to confident, open body language in others. It's a signal that the person is grounded in themselves and present. By adopting these physical cues, you'll immediately seem more intriguing to anyone you interact with. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, and using yours properly can be wildly attractive. Holding someone's gaze for a few longish seconds conveys confidence, interest, and even a hint of flirtation. But be careful not to veer into unsettling stare territory. The trick is to meet their gaze, look away for a few moments while they're speaking, and then re-engage with soft eye contact. This feels far more natural and keeps you from creepily locking eyes for too long. When you nail the balance here, your mere look can smolder. Combining confident eye contact with a soft smile is an incredibly alluring one-two punch. It's flirtatious without being overtly sexual. Maintain eye contact when you're the one speaking too, rather than constantly looking around or down at the ground. This keeps your audience captivated and perceiving you as reliable and trustworthy. Of course, context matters here too. Maintain slightly more eye contact in a flirtatious setting to increase intimacy vibes. In professional settings, don't go too overboard and make others uncomfortable. A few warm smizes per interaction is enough to build trust and rapport. But the bottom line is that true magnetic energies come from gazing at people with easy confidence, not avoiding their eyes and appearing timid or sneaky. Working on your eye contact skills is an absolute must for quiet charm. While quiet self-assurance is a huge attractive quality, you don't want to appear so aloof or intimidating that people feel they can't approach you. The key is warmth. This means greeting people with an open, friendly smile that crinkles those eye corners. Avoid a forced grin. Go for a soft, genuine look of pleasant engagement. Uncross your arms, keep an open posture, and make periodic eye contact rather than staring at the floor. Sprinkling in some positive body language, like periodic head nods, also makes you seem more approachable and engaged when conversing with someone. I can't tell you how many times I've been too intimidated to talk to an attractive person because they had a blank, disinterested expression 
or unapproachable energy just look like they couldn't be bothered, you know? Don't make that mistake. Instead, work on exuding warmth, openness, and making people feel safe to be in your presence through inviting body language. This doesn't mean being a perky people pleaser. You can still have quiet confidence. Just avoid an icy, dismissive demeanor. Notice how you're received when you greet people in an upbeat, present manner versus when you're distracted, uncomfortable, or standoffish. The former draws people in while the latter keeps them at an arm's distance. When in doubt, think about how you'd want someone you admire to interact with you, with openness, attentiveness, and warmth, right? Give that same energy out consistently. Speaking of engagement, there are few qualities more attractive than being an exceptional listener. It's a silent way of showing people that you respect them and find them interesting. This takes conscious effort in our distracted world. When someone is speaking, avoid letting your eyes or mind wander. Maintain relaxed eye contact and actively listen rather than just waiting for your turn to talk again. Nod, smile, and make affirming sounds to show you're tracking. Eliminate distractions like checking your phone. Ask follow-up questions to convey your level of interest and attention. People are so starved for good listeners these days that you'll immediately stand out just by being fully present when conversing. Think about how refreshing and flattering it feels when someone is hanging on your every word instead of waiting impatiently for their turn or clearly not absorbing what you're saying. When you give that attentive listening to others, they'll be drawn to you like a magnet. Plus, being a stellar listener helps you pick up on little nuances, which you can then use to drive the conversation deeper, ask insightful follow-ups, or read between the lines about how someone is truly feeling. Active listening doesn't mean never speaking and just being a sponge. It means being fully engaged when the other person is talking, rather than just waiting for the conversational pause, so you can blurt out your next point again. After they've had their say, you can share your own thoughts, stories, or reactions. Doing this back and forth volley makes both people feel heard, understood, and invested in. There's a reason we're captivated by professional dancers and athletes. Their controlled, graceful movements are simply mesmerizing to watch. While you don't have to be a ballerina, incorporating more graceful gestures, posture, and movement patterns into your daily life can make you much more fascinating to observe. Walk with purposeful strides that propel you forward rather than shuffling aimlessly. Be conscious of keeping your chin up and shoulders back rather than collapsing into yourself. Avoid letting your limbs flap around haphazardly. Instead, make your motions smooth, controlled, and deliberate, whether gesturing during conversation or reaching for something. It's a small tweak, but brings such elegant energy. When standing, avoid shifting your weight rapidly from foot to foot or rocking back and forth restlessly. Find a centered, grounded stance as though you're rooted to the ground. In general, move with intention and focus rather than distracted carelessness. Transitions between movements rather than distracted carelessness. Transitions between movements should be seamless and fluid, not jerky. Think about the mesmerizing focus and control of a professional ballerina. Their gestures and movements are precise yet beautiful. You can emulate that captivating quality on a smaller scale in daily life. Periodically take note of your physicality. If you notice yourself fidgeting, recenter and still your body. If you're gesticulating wildly while speaking, soften and temper your motions. Move with quiet intentionality. When you eliminate restless movements and inelegant flailing, you instantly become more magnetic to observe. People's eyes will be drawn to the graceful specificity of your gestures and gait. It's incredibly alluring. Putting effort into your personal grooming and style is a form of self-respect that others will find attractive. After all, if you don't put care into your own appearance, why should anyone else? I'm not advocating for being a neurotic product junkie. But adopting habits like showering daily, caring for your hair and skin, trimming nails, and wearing clean, presentable clothes goes a long way. 
Your outfit and makeup, accessories don't have to be trendy or expensive. They simply need to look neat, feel cohesive to your personal style, and show that you value taking pride in your appearance. Being well put together sends the message that you have your life together too, an undeniably attractive quality. Think about it, when you see someone with stained clothes, unkempt hair, and chipped nail polish, what does it silently communicate? A lack of attention to detail, self-discipline, and pride in one's image. On the flip side, when you encounter a woman whose hair looks shiny and styled, whose outfit is clean and flattering, and who smells lightly fragranced, you instantly perceive her as having classier, more pulled together energy. I'm not saying you need to uphold some wildly high maintenance beauty standard, but making the modest effort of regular hygiene, neat grooming, and wearing items that fit you well instantly elevates your quiet attractiveness. It shows you respect yourself and are willing to put in a basic amount of work into your presence. Psychologically, humans are drawn towards mates who display this ability to care for themselves. So do a quick self-check every morning before leaving the house. Is your look intentional and well-executed, even if low budget? Or are you giving off schlubby, lazy vibes? Make adjustments accordingly. Emotionally intelligent people are incredibly magnetic because they make others feel deeply understood and cared about. It's an ability to read between the lines and connect on a soul level. To cultivate this, work on becoming highly attuned to people's facial expressions, body language, and tones of voice for emotional cues. Don't just listen to the words they're saying, but how they're saying them. When you sense they're giving off a specific emotional vibe, like frustration, hesitation, or enthusiasm, check in with respectful questions like, it seems like you're feeling about this. Am I picking that up correctly? Showing that you can empathize and validate how someone feels makes them feel truly seen and heard. It creates a safe space for vulnerability and openness to bloom between you. Equally important is having emotional awareness about your own internal state. If you're feeling insecure, anxious, or irritable, own up to it. Don't project those vibes outward without warning. For example, hey, I have to admit I'm feeling a little on edge after a long day at work, but I'm still present to listen if you have something on your mind. This self-awareness prevents misunderstandings and shows maturity. Emotionally intelligent people also know when to move on from sensitive topics or diffuse tense situations through gentle redirection and changing energies. It's about being perceptive to emotional undercurrents. At its core, strong emotional intelligence stems from having empathy, the ability to put yourself in someone else's shoes and imagine their inner experience, even if it differs from your own. When connecting with a new acquaintance, try to avoid judgments and just be curious about what makes them tick. Have them share their personal stories and really immersive yourself in listening. The more you can make people feel heard, understood, and emotionally safe around you, the more they'll find you irresistible company. Trust me, not enough people bother cultivating this highly appealing skill. A little bit of tasteful flirting done right can be crazy alluring. I'm not talking about cheesy pickup lines or being aggressively sexual. I mean more subtle, non-verbal ways of conveying romantic interest. This could be briefly holding eye contact for a beat longer than normal while subtly smiling, using softening facial expressions and voice tones, allowing your body to show glimpses of leaning in when they speak, almost like you're being magnetically drawn closer. Maybe a gentle touch on the forearm during conversation or flashing an enigmatic smile before quickly looking away again. Just tiny gestures to create palpable tension and intrigue. But don't be too obvious or follow any one motion too excessively. A little bit of restrained flirting then pulling back is wildly enticing. Have you ever been chatting with someone who made extended, unwavering eye contact while licking their lips repeatedly? Doesn't leave much to the imagination, does it? That's called being thirsty not flirtatious. Cool it with the overt sexual cues. Instead, you want to give little suggestive hints and fleeting moments that create suspense and tension around your interest. Those longing looks 
from across the room? Perfection. Straight up undressing them with your eyes? Not so much. The key is to be more suggestive than aggressive. Create little moments of intrigue that make their imagination wander. But don't spell everything out plainly. That's what keeps the simmering undertones building deliciously. Pay attention to how you react when someone is blatantly trying too hard to flirt versus when they're being more subtle and restrained about it. The former usually feels awkward while the latter is much more tantalizing. Mastering the art of nuanced, tasteful flirtation is such an attractive, feminine skill. It allows you to express romantic interest without being too forward. Makes you seem approached with confidence and mystique. Too much overt flirting or availability, however, can quickly make you seem thirsty or desperate, not attractive. A little bit of intriguing mystery, on the other hand, utterly magnetic. It keeps people curious about you and wanting to learn more. It builds suspense and pursuit. So don't spill your entire life story or share too many intimate details right off the bat. Dole out information about yourself slowly, almost making people work a bit to unravel who you truly are. Create a bit of unresolved tension by occasionally changing the subject before fully answering a question. Don't be too eager to clear up every single curiosity about you. A little inscrutability can work wonders. But of course, balance is key. Don't be so withholding that you seem rude or dishonest. Just sprinkle in breadcrumbs that lead people to find you increasingly fascinating. When you start peeling back new layers about yourself, seem a little paradoxical or have intriguing contradictions. Maybe you're soft-spoken yet highly ambitious, sweet, but also deeply sarcastic at times, feminine, but also really into something traditionally masculine like boxing. These nuances and dichotomies create an air of having greater depth than meets the eye. The recipe for magnetic mystique. Speak about your hopes, philosophies, and internal world in a way that sparks people's interest, yet still preserves some intimacy around the full picture. Be evocative, yet also maintain boundaries. Over time, as you build trust, you can continue shedding layers and inviting others deeper into your world. But keeping some sides tucked away is part of being alluringly inscrutable. True charm leaves a touch of mystery lingering, making people perpetually curious to know more. Master this habit, and folks won't be able to get enough of your entrancing energy. At the core of quiet charm and magnetism is a deep wellspring of self-confidence. It's that, I'm comfortable in my own skin and don't need constant validation or attention energy that people find irresistible. To get there, work on knowing your worth, speaking kindly to yourself, and pursuing your goals and passions. The more you achieve and embrace who you truly are, the less you'll look to others to fill any voids. But avoid letting that confidence veer into arrogance. True confidence is a quiet hum, not an obnoxious roar. Focus on self-assurance and self-acceptance, not feeding your ego or putting others down. Take inventory of the times you feel most self-assured. Is it when you're immersed in a hobby you're talented at? When you've accomplished something meaningful? When you're surrounded by loved ones? Whatever those confidence boosters are, spend more time engaging with them. Revel in those soul-nourishing moments so you can carry that assured energy through the rest of your life. Let's quickly recap those 10 habits for embodying quiet, magnetic attractiveness without relying solely on words. Confident body language like great posture, open stances, and fluid movements. Magnetic eye contact balanced with soft glances away. An approachable demeanor with warmth and open expressions. Attentive listening skills that make others feel heard. Graceful controlled gestures and movements. Impeccable grooming and personal style. Emotional intelligence to read situations and regulate your emotions. Subtle. Suggestive flirting through physicality. Cultivating an aura of intrigue and mystery. An unshakable core of self-confidence. I know that's a lot to work on. But here's the thing. You don't need to be perfect at all of these habits right away. Even just focusing on nailing two, three of them will elevate your quiet charm significantly. 
The most important step is developing greater self-awareness about your verbal and nonverbal habits and cues. Start noticing how you show up, how others respond, and where you have room to be more magnetic without words. For example, are you a chronic hair twirler or leg jiggler when you get nervous? Those fidgety habits undermine a poised presence. Do you let your eyes drift when people speak instead of giving them your full attention? That reads as aloofness or boredom. Does your posture tend to be slumped and closed off, giving an unapproachable vibe? Or do you avoid eye contact because you're insecure, seeming timid or lacking confidence? Get radically honest with yourself about your current cues and presentation. Because here's the thing, you're always communicating volumes without saying a word. The question is whether you're communicating the aura you want. Quiet magnetic attractiveness isn't about being perfectly solemn or robotic. It's about feeling grounded yet lively within yourself so you can engage wholeheartedly, flirt with your eyes, move with grace, and let your warm presence envelop others. When you bring thoughtful intentionality to your nonverbal presence, you'll start being seen as that rare woman who compels attention not by being the loudest voice in the room, but the most intriguing energy. So I encourage you to look back over these 10 habits and pinpoint two to three areas you most wanna focus on improving for starters and be patient. True quiet magnetism is the sum of diligent practice over time. It's an incredibly worthy investment though, I promise. Because whether you wanna attract an amazing partner, charge up a room before a big presentation, or just move through the world as a total bombshell. The power of quiet charm is unmatched. Start mastering these habits and prepare to turn heads while barely uttering a word. Who's excited to get started on cultivating their irresistibly magnetic quiet rinses? I know I am. Let me know in the comments which of these 10 habits you'll be focusing on first. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss more videos like this. And don't forget to smash that like button and drop me a comment, letting me know your biggest takeaway from this video or what other topics you'd love me to cover next. Keep glowing, keep growing and radiating that undeniable, captivating presence outward in exquisite bloom. The world is waiting to be quietly swept off its feet by your brilliance. It's time to shine, ladies.